My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? <laughs> now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. But she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Hurry up, Desmond. We're running out of time. Oh, my love, me dispatch. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Not really getting out of here, huh? Stergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in! We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research this wing. This way. Walls. Requesting... Fancy. Right. There they are! Don't let them get away! 
Holy shit! Look at this place. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. An animus? Careful. What the? How many of them are there? Hold on. Is it animuses? Animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy? What do they need with all of them? Desmond. this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins... They'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. 
Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was gonna convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years, can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., He'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. So, how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... Here we go. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah! Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! 
Buona sera, Viera. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Gotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. What's it that alone? Baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Hold on. What? You almost won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in the pockets. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. How dare you feed? Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Trovato, doctor. Hmm. Fratelli Auditori, 
Why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. A footy tea. <laughs> There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre! <coughs> Baby brother still has much to learn. Come on, Kankaruga. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. Never change. And may it never change us. All right. Enough of that. We really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. He couldn't have gotten far! Christina! Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh! Ezio! I should have known! May I come in? Fine. But only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait. Uh, that came out wrong. Ugh. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Christina! Christina! Elia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! Now, now. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Go! Take him down! There's really no need for violence. <laughs> You have me confused with someone else. She needed some help with some things. 
I'm mostly innocent. Must be a drunken Good morning, Father. Come with me. Wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Keep up the good work. Bischero. <laughs> You worry too much, Giovanni. Francia. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. 
He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house, then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Huh? Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. It's a beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah, Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Glory to Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister, parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtù. You broke her heart. Ha! <laughs> and now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all talk me, but when it comes time for action, ha! You regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Basta! Mi arrendo! Stay away from my sister! What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise.
Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. Least I'm not. Here, over here. I have a delivery from... Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! Father? Federico! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you alright? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... when she resisted. It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Ezio, father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait, you knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now.
said, there was a door here. Say Roberto. Traditore! Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. What do you want then? For you to die! Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? There are no other... Ezio Auditore? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah... I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me. ...contain evidence of a conspiracy... ...against your family... ...and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning... ...and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! I need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return, I swear! We will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abatete. Better run, boy. And fast.
I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What of my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No, it's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house, just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. We'll take good care of you. Where do they cut books like that? And I'm a
Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody stop it, Maledizione! There's a big pocket about! Guard! <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, you must leave one. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. Si, but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Auditore, I I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come this way. Ah, che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There. It's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word, and thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? 
Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Ah! Ready to talk? What about now? Tell me what I want. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. To... Oh, shit. It's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond, then. I can't believe this. Hello, this is... Uh, they, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe... <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, um... I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all. But I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, 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 what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. 
I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Good evening, Gonvaloniere. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what evils you had? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalonieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. <laughs> you! you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. 
This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again. For everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. This have happened to us. I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Queen, what will let's happen do it. to our house? I don't know. Were they were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. Should be close. Grazie, Dio. Andiamo. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. Try to 
keep your breathing. Tragic to waste such illustrious flesh. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> Not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! That's you, you are finished! Fight your intention. I can take both his eyes while he's pushing <laughs> my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Nipote. <clears throat> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio, too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like at Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze, and I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa.
Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Ben fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo. You can swing a sword, to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. Ah. No use dancing around, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before. My father was a paper pusher. No. He was born and dead to kill. I find this difficult to believe. What of the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalog of debts? It holds the names of those responsible for your father. Ben, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like you something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing. Avanti, stai on Ayano. How did you know? È un duello, Fesso. You have your father's blade. I think you should have the codex page he was holding as well. Che c'è? Aspetti il permesso. Oh, stamina. I don't like being made to wait. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground where they continued their nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man. And we, the assassins, are sworn to stand against them. come into your own. Thank you, uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. <laughs> Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables.
Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Well done, Ezio. We're in. This way, man. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows. But something has him on edge. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Ah, Nipo, there you are. It seems my plan is something like that. Here is men ambush. Now we've got our My brothers and I will deal with these guns. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is served. <laughs> Ezio. 
It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa.
And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio, walk with me. Yes, Uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo would decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall.
Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought these six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor.
noble prices for noble wares. Armor fit for an emperor. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha-ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm... This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox? Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato. Where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Oh, my money. your money! I don't have your money! <laughs> Get back here! Make me! <laughs> You're making a big mistake, my friend! Enough of this! Enough indeed! Why don't you give up? Return what you... I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? 
Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo, let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. <laughs> Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's your problem. Here we are. Francesco di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna.
How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post. So help me God.
Reloading! Benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, May the Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. Guide us. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. know where Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right.
Keep away, you murderers! <laughs> Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Get it! Giuliano! No! Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Fuck! Man! I'm killed! This on yourself! Die! Just die already! Please! I need help! than capable of cutting. You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you... Ah. Andiamo. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. I had hoped that could be avoided. I've not forgotten how to wage war. No, Francesco de Pazzi! I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. They'll be erased! We had that heavy, signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. I'm here, Fratello! I had hoped to come back to be avoided. On me. So Go! Get down! Oh, sweet lady, for your life! Ah, I'm more than capable of asking you. I had hoped combat would be so 
Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. By the Christ, greatest, come in quickly. The city is at war. Hurry. Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Signori. I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! The capo will be angry. Another one dead in our district. Did anyone see the fight? Well. coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Libertad! 
Francesco. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. You're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime.
Grazia, stay away from the artwork on the walls. And when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the Lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our church. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. Bene. Now I have a way back up in case I fall.
Ezio! <laughs> come in, come in! I've been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More Codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counterattacking. But what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro, teach me what to do. Now dodge. Uh, hurry up and die. I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> bene, bene. Now do it again. Much better. One last time, bravo! Let's see it another time. Filio di Troia! Enjoy the ride down to hell. Just one more time, Ezio. Magnifico! Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. Over here, Ezio. We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Ah. Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it.
kill yourself. I'm not. There he is. I want you to stay away, assassin. You should have listened. Laju, stop! Ah, after him, ragazzi! Laju, there! Men, prepare yourselves! The assassin has arrived! I need to find a way to open the gates. Jacobo. He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiescat in pace. Heavy. Oh, you pay dearly, Cazzo. I see him, not you. Grand Assassino. You won't last a minute. There you are. Listen, we found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend. Existence is the only rational response when faced with the declaration that there exists some invisible madman in the sky. And believe me, if your precious Bible is anything to go by, he is completely lost his mind. <laughs> Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace.
Salute, Ezio. Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You'd do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information. Some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. No, I will. E tu possa al fine trovare riposo. Corpo e nella mente. Requiescat in pace. Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncelli. Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways.
I knew you would come. Where is Jacobo? So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. Stay my blade long enough to follow him. He'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my least. My God, does his mind snap? What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me, this much I know. Where do they cut clocks like that? <laughs> What are you and the others planning, Jacopo? The 
balance of a true hunt. Letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? Many men are responsible for my father's death. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. Say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. And you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. We put our faith in your family, and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. Uh, uh, no. Please. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can fix this. Spare me. No. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize. Assassin! Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to the... Ah!
Fardelli e paure requiesca di pace. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. E la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Leonardo! Leonardo! Mi dispiace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend.
Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I, uh, have run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! They're trying to climb on board! Knock them off! Someone's on top! You shot the turns to make the carriage roll! Ezio, yeah. watch out behind you! Do something! Watch out! Don't let the carriage roll over! Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. Yes. <laughs> 
Here! Over here! Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore, but please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, signora. Whatever you say, signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. Careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. The 
<laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forley. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old Subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I've been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his Animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later Animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to Sixteen wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here.
is this? Where am I? It's... Hmm. That must be his target. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. woman from Anchor. What was her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Altair here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be it. This is one weird thing. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. Hey. Uh, hi. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you.
Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno e ben arrivato! Hai mal visto! Signor Don has asked to escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia! What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico! Come, come, there's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets. Be it spices or silk, from near and far, there is... There is... You were told to stay home! But the rent is paid! I have every right to sell here! Emilio disagrees! No, no, stop! Stop! Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Would you mind buying it for me? I have... Uh, I left my money with my bags. Hey! Mind your step, Corleone! Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but... with the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. But Giannate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the Council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop! And now, I present to you your workshop, Sir Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success, and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. And gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another Codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla. best to get inside. I'll scale the wall and... Oh, that's not good. I'll never make that jump. I need to find another way. I 
Jack. I remember you. We need to go. You never did apologize for knocking me over. No! Va bene, where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. <sighs> Better off on my own. I'd be better off on my own. Get the bastard! All right, you bastards. Who wants to die first? <laughs> What are you doing? Hurry up! Whatever I did to deserve this punishment, I'm sorry! No! They're getting closer! Come any closer and I'll catch you to my ground! My leg. I never did catch your name. Rosa. Honorato Rosa. I met you. I know. This won't take long. I'll just steal the 
Hugo! What's this? Rose has been wounded. Pass out here. We'll go the rest of the way in the boat. Careful. Go! I'll deal with the guards. Ezio, quickly! Shooting at us! Dead, idiota! Say a prayer later! Porco I need to see... I need to see Antonio! Be careful! Let me do it! I won't find Antonio! Mr. Hugo, do what he says! Qual'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini! Hey! Hey! Wake up! We need help. Where's Antonio? Make yourselves useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. Where are we? Home. Uh, They've sent for help. Uh, thank you. Rosa, what's happened? out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care not to... Now! Come here, boy. Tenetela. I'm sorry, Piccola. Sorry! Ficatelo nel polo, you're sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into a room. Are you ready? Now! Uh, ben uh, you work well under pressure. Uh, she spirited this one. Porca putana! Avanti! Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the wound. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Ti venisi il cancero, brutto bastardo! A te che la grandissima troia di tua madre! Thank you. Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her... 
I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Ser Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little... unrefined. Then you know why I'm in Venezia. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Avanti! Hey! Prego. Can I offer you something? Biscotti. Un café. What's café? An interesting concoction brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here, have a taste. A little bitter, if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know, have you considered adding sugar, maybe? Or latte? I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. Enough about that. Now where were we? Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses. And continue his oppression of the district. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Why not gather your forces and try again? To act in haste would only bring more losses. No. We must resupply and draw new plans. Can ill afford to sit around and wait? Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. It is the right decision. Salute, Rosa. You seem to be healing well. How are you finding Venezia? It has its charms. But how do you deal with the smell? Che schifo. So? What brings you to me? I was hoping you could help me with something. And that would be... I want to learn to climb the way you do. Oh. Va bene, I can do that. Well, I can't, but Franco can. Franco! Muovere il culo! Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffolding. Begin in a hanging position. Then jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. There. See how it works? I think so. Only one way to find out. Try for yourself. Jump, Ezio! Grab the... So? How did I do? I've seen better. Ah, you wound me with your cruel, cruel words. All right, Smargiasso. Let's put your skills to the test. I'm all ears. Meet me in front of the Frari.
Dispatcher of the Great Assassin! Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! See, if I just rearrange these letters. Here, it's done. Ben trovato, Ugo. What's the trouble? You and Rosa managed to escape from Seta. But the others were not so lucky. Emilio has captured them and now they await execution. Do you know where they're being held? I know they're still in the district, but beyond that, no. You'll have to look for them. I'll have your brothers back here in no time.
<laughs> Listen to them squeal. It's no wonder their master hides. Let me send you to hell. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to succeed so quickly. I aim to please. I'll let Antonio know about our progress. Come find me later. I've got another job for you. What sort of job? Meet me near the docks and I'll explain. Molto bene. Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. On top of that tower, then? Or new Frau Nati? Looks like you've learned all I have to teach you. I'll let Antonio know of your progress. Finish your other tasks. We're almost there. Rescuing my brothers was more than just an act of charity, Ezio. The men you freed will play a vital role in the weeks to come. Just ask for their help, and they'll join you. And once I have my little band of thieves? Send them towards a group of guards, and they'll create a distraction. Opening the way for me. Exactly. Saves me from having to bloody my sword. I like it. Exactly. Now I'll tell you what to do with them. Antonio's plan calls for a bit of deception. We're to imitate his archers, which means we'll need the armor that they wear. A shipment of the stuff has just been loaded into chests and now awaits delivery to Seta. Loot the chests and retrieve the outfits. When that's finished, I'll need you to fetch me a boat as well and bring it back here. We'll use it to move our men into the palazzo undetected. Consider it done.
Molto bene, Ezio. This is exactly what we needed. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. Ah, Ezio. I was hoping you might return. I want your advice on something. Of course. Tell me what troubles you. Emilio has turned some of my own men against me. Bribery and blackmail, is it? Yes. And we cannot strike until the traitors are dealt with. They're still somewhere in this district, keeping tabs on us and reporting back to Emilio. Not for much longer, then. Please, enter. Your good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. You'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. As they fall, my men shall replace them. What about the guards? When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here. ...and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In bocca al lupo. Crepi lupo.
I've seen you once a little. Well done, Ezio. Everything is going according to plan. As we speak, my men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now. But not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Use my men. They can distract the guards. Save you from having to fight. And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, though, Ezio. We await word of your success. Your little house of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero scemo Antonio and his thieves... Never mind them. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is... Is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I've been busy. Someone had to provide the weapons to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we all know what could happen. Enough with the bar. What is it you want, Carlo? Maestro has called a meeting. Three days ago, a tongue twist the bar. Very well. I'll be there. Oh, Assuming oh. you still win. If you want my advice, I'd find a less conspicuous place to wait. Seta is a target. Seta is a fortress. If you say so. Goodbye, Emilio. Cazzo, what if he's right? You, call for my boat. It should be close. When it arrives, load those crates and prepare to sail. I'll be right back. If Carlos digs through, I must find a place to hide just until the meeting. Then we'll deal with the assassin. There he is! He's be working with Antonio. That means the attacks. No. I've worked too hard for this. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity. Stability. Order. At too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non trova alcuna gioia in questo. Ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. Couldn't resist. Come, let's open the gate for Antonio.
Zetta's fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go! Tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. Tell me, Ezio. How can I repay you for your service? Money's always nice. Easy enough. What else? Emilio is meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo Grimaldi. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? I have a meeting to attend. Where is Emilio? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mocenigo keeps his circle close. I've tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions. But he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves, and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. I am two steps from the Doge himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now. I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in great supply. My feet are killing me. Can we sit down inside somewhere? Do you know anywhere truly safe to discuss things such as these? Buongiorno, cousin. Signor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin, the same one who hunted down the Pazzi, is here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. And perhaps he's made a decision. 
About what, cousin? About which of us shall step into the robes of the dog, cousin? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think otherwise. Calma, calma, amici. Please. There's no need for you. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, he may not even choose a barbarian. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Bastard! Oh, wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Could you yes. Know how to treat the Signori, we should move a little faster. I right I Say, Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find. How much did you pay for him? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversationalist. Enough with your inane prattle. The choice of Toji was never up to any of you. And you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Doge Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio umilmente, Maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi. You are closest to Mochenico. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest to him? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but... He trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and poison his meal. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, Maestro. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some cantarelle. Yes, and what is that? It is a most effective form of arsenic, difficult to trace. Ah, okay. Then it's the cycle. Ah, look where you are going. Oh, why didn't you move? I only had a great big pile of books in my arms. Smell like southern trash. What do you think, Fratel? Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you? Involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans. I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Pachi disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Pazzi were a bunch of foolish... The Pazzis were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe who now haunts your city. For the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. 
Bene. I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara. But I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbario are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. On business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it, though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary and whores. While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. Yes, with you, Ben. <laughs> Nothing here could possibly interest. We need to scout the palazzo carefully, see it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Bene. We're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Segui me. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. I 
I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. You flew! See, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look, let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this pezzo di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, che idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men moving behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Won't take long. He's here. This is ridiculous. My brother was supposed to take my ship an hour ago. My wife is going to murder me if I miss dinner again. Hey, Katie, Frank. Just go. It's not like we're guarding the doji. What the hell are we guarding, anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of colored power. <laughs> from here, ah. come on! Get him! <laughs> Won't escape! <laughs>
It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. What's that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Like the look. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the douche! The douche! He's dead! <laughs> It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?!
You won't escape. No, stop him. He won't get far. What the hell? Damn it. There he is. On. You not get off so easy. Cats, he's getting clear. Your death will not be swift or easy.
Your cart. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Uh, no, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I could have been killed. By that. You don't take our work seriously. One misstep. One time you turn your back in the wrong direction. And you're dead. Because of rats. I'm not going to explain myself to you anymore. Please, don't stop. This is so entertaining. Let me be. Please, come back. No. I'll protect you. Don't worry. Vaffanculo. Is this really how it's going to be? See. Si. Leave me alone! For pasta! <laughs> I'm not facing it! Leave me alone! Run faster! not going to get me. Leave me alone! We're under attack! Guards! I'm being chased! Get him!
Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. I was trying to save him, Leonardo, but the truth matters little. I failed, and now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. Huh. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Macerto, but I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a uh, uh, mutual friend's. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way, yes. Sister, and that's you. You can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Theodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come! Join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Mr. Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Don't come any closer. Or I will carve up another one. Whatever this is about, leave me out of it, please! Who the hell are you? Get away from me! Back. What I would kill. 
You have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but... Why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> Whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So, I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori! Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies! Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Hello. Mind if I join you? I trouble you for a ribbon. Come inside. Have anything for me, Berlinier? What's wrong with you? Ooh, ooh. 
Hello. Would I trouble you for a ribbon? yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times and the golden mask may yet be yours. We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! Who's next? Welcome, Benvenuti! 
Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. <laughs> step right up and benvenute lottatori. The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you? Or two. Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? Like this one thinks himself some kind of campeon. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. So that's how it's going to be, eh? Signore 
e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won, Lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <coughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro. Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kulo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Find him. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti. Welcome, my friends to the grandest social event of the season, at peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have Carnaval! Merda. He's not leaving the boat. They will have to swim out there. They wouldn't try it. We'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it. Your pistola. The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think, sister. I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. We all know we have come through trouble time. But we have come through the... No. It's too soon. 
I'm not ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. <laughs> Exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! Ezio, Ezio, Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. <laughs> there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarigo, soon to be Doge of Venezia. Thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Babarigo for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. Must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Stags attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. Oh, okay. 
if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I am Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! Must! Great! Finally, things get interesting! <laughs> what fun this will be! <laughs> Come on! Let's see what you can do! We should go. Agree! There are still more heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Given that they outnumber us a hundred to one. As you wish, Bella. Oh. Watch for the large one. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless. But that... <laughs> Silvio set his men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. <laughs> what fun it will be! life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them. No! no! You think you Let's can see what you can do! Bianca, I hope she is unharmed. Bianca! Bianca! Is everything all right? What do you think? Look at this place. And poor Bianca. If something's happened to her... Aha! Oh. 
Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Charmed. So, I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot in good conscience leave them behind. Intesi. I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. Don't be shy. I only aim to heal. Many thanks for the aid, friend. We'd like to fight with you, if you'll have us. Andiamo. We are with you, Fred. Only lead the way. Follow my lead. Let go! Leave me alone, I swear! I have nothing to... the barbarigo Salute Ezio Welcome back and well done My host is restored to its former glory Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made how should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Esatto. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. All right, this way. Wait here for my signal. As you wish. Queen, let's do it.
Hold your ground here. Consider it done. Segui me. This is where you wait. Send word when it's time to strike. Ah, there you are. Is it done? Yes, all your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district, and fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will. Bartolomeo needs my help. Must return to l'arsenale. Alutezio! Care for some combat? By all means! Depart. Ezio, go now. That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from giving chase. Hurry, they're going to leave without us. Get away! 
Fresco! Fresco! No way you are getting it. What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doji seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want. They want. Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Well done, Ezio! Silvio is defeated, and the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo, but I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? A cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... no closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet? Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see the killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici, my father and brothers, it was all part of his plan. To find a vault, a Spaniard, 
Rodrigo Borgia. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Taking it. The maestro awaits. He will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, they'll lead me right through the Filio di Putana. Sir, this is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. followed absolutely everything went perfectly we have followed your orders exactly as specified the mission to cyprus was more <gasps> it's you it's been some time rodrigo so where is he <laughs> who your prophet doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. <laughs> you claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The Prophet is already here. I am the Prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. all you have where is the rest of your people what people you really have no idea do you guards Thank you. 
you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Bodja ah! leave that box. Avanti! Now, you all shall die. Take him down, Ezio. You're right behind you. Come on, me, go down! He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola. Volpe. It's true, Nipote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. La shea waka umutlak bel kulun munkin. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember, everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, nothing is true. true. Everything, everything is, is permitted. permitted. It is time, it's you. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do.
Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No. I need to go back. Right now. Uh oh. Oh dear. Sean? Of course. How could I have forgotten? You want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492. Which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing this must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli, the citadel is walled. Protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Taro. You're going to love Forley. The cannons in Architadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Oh, no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, Signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canaglia I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Yo, 
Already inside? Double crossing bastards. Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you. You spineless dogs. You occupy my city, my home. You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your ballet off? Kick your balls so hard they fly out your nostrils! Lurido branco di cani bastardi! Tornatevene a casa se non volete finire impallati sul lavoro della mia cittadella! Ah! Ma forse è per questo che non ti decidete a uscire! Già, scommetto che lo gradiresti assai un bel palo di questo super il culo! Sangue di Dio! Ma dove ti hanno
Don't worry. Bianca and Ottaviano. Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me!
trouble. Caterina! Caterina Sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Kirko. At your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back. For something of yours, a certain map... ...and a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village, outside the city! You have one hour! Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. Si. You have my word. Diablo needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe.
Basta, basta, you're giving me a headache. Katerina was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know. The Maestro gains his price. Because of me. Mori cor tuo orgoglio. Per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Grazie, signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Kelko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. The quality of our speech is legendary. 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 The quality I'm with you, Fratello! So... You have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value... It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vita. Requiesca in pace. God, you're back with us. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Keko Orsi's dead body. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... Missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncover the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here. Where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will.
Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure that it was a finger. Hmm. Now, wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! To die. I only kill those who kill others, and your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? What year? Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Hey, Desmond. I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? had only a tenth of his father's talent. Let's just have some place to call home. Sonzo! This day is your last! Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. Don't understand why they'd be so willing to accept his oppression. Sometimes I wish the assassino would return to Firenze, that we might be free of his tyranny. It's just a myth, a story parents tell their children. 
Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthralled, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence come, and power. Come, don't be shy. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Andiamo. Assault would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? See. Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear. See. Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, you will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors.
Reject the base and material. Seek salvation in the flames. might gaze upon my creation and see something of the Lord within. Well, would they not be also brought closer to it? And so I thought myself an a speaker, a What have I done? What have I done? Your actions were not your own. But they were. My own self-doubt let him hold me as he did. I am sorry. As am I. Non è una scelta. Il compio a cuor leggero. Requiescat in pace. Firenze, come, gather round. Listen well to what I say. The end approaches. Now is the time to repent, to beg God's forgiveness. Don't you see? This time are all around us. Unrest, famine, disease, corruption. These are the harbingers of darkness. We must stand firm in our devotion, lest they consume us all. I see you, Da, that you think me mad. Uh, but did the Romans not say that you know that I too once shared your uncertainty? You are the I will be deep, so sorry! Your mind, since it is your own. <laughs> Not all of us require deception to be convinced. I already believed. All I said is true. Nothing is true. Non è un compito facile il mio. Requiescat in pace.
Non si passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain closed to you. I hear you moaning and complaining. You say you have things to do, places to go, obligations to fulfill. Ha! You have but one obligation. To submit up here, Lord so Why, why up fight here? us? See, why there, raise there, it? He's getting this away. is ours. There, Your there, precious ladies yeah. have abandoned you. Fled into the waste to wallow in self-pity. Savonarola wants only the best for you. A city free of vice and temptation. A people united by faith. All men are equal in the eyes of the Lord. And so they shall be in Firenze. Eccolo! Stop him! You were a noble's clothes. How is it Savonarola charmed you? Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. I wanted even more. And now instead, you have nothing. Questo non è che un atto dovuto. Requiescat in pace. Secure those crates. We can ill afford to let their contents fall into the wrong hands. We'll see just how tough the holdouts are when they're forced to go without food. And if they want to eat, they'll accept Savonarola as their leader. How the Medici family can still hold any sway in this city is beyond me. Haven't I seen you before? God, to think I once considered them my patrons. But that was before the prophet opened my eyes. Then I saw the influence of commerce and the division it creates. Savonarola will lead us into a new era. What? What have I done? You tried to force devotion. Sometimes, the people must be told what to think. No good has ever come of that. Benché il mio cuore sia turbato, la mia mente è lucida. Requiescat in pace. You are not allowed up here! Your orders are simple. Keep watch over these fields and ensure no harm comes to the bundles of fieno. It may seem a mundane task, but it is critical nonetheless. 
Without this most basic resource, they'll lose the means to resist. They will be forced to stand down. Wool, meat, and milk to name a few. Do you see them? Why the piano must not fall into enemy hands. You would have let your own people starve. And for what? Too long I suffered their insults. They called me simple and low class. I wanted their respect. I'm afraid you do not have mine. Per quanto sia benoso e trapasso, rieto sarà il tuo sonno. Requiescat in pace. You must not disrupt our work. Firenze is sick. It's our duty to cure her. How? By forcing her people to follow a madman? It is unwise for you to challenge those in power. Yes. Well, that is about to change. No! You won't take me! Savonarola will know of your treachery! Guards! Guards! Savonarola is our savior! Why must you resolve? How would you like to go? Pro? Ask? I swear. I was a victim. It's not my fault. No, you made the choice. He charmed me with that thing. Only because you allowed it. Lo faccio per il popolo. Reguiescat in pace. Omnipotens Deus, Rex Regum, et Omnium Gubernator. Rex Regum et Omnia. I thought he preached the word of God. I fear his sermon is a lie. I led my flock astray. It's just... I wanted so badly to believe. We all do. Pedro Computer. L'opera di mio padre. Requiescat in pace. Ah, 
Ah, another challenger. Excellent. Savonarola warned me that some would oppose our rule. And so I devised this little trap to ferret out those foolish enough to play at hero. It's proven to be both entertaining and effective. Incoming Charmo! <laughs> What a spectacle! Wonder just how long you'll survive. Another a few days back. Three dozen of my men! You won't find you. He's in the midst of every day without fear. Another of you approaches. Nonconformist! Melt! Get him! This won't stay. take long. Who seek to challenge me? It broke. I was. Truly who I was? So proud and cruel. No. Savonarola bewitched you. Did he? Or was it that I tasted power and found myself intoxicated? I wish I had been stronger. As do I. Mirin cresce, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. It's quite simple, amici. If you desire care, you'll submit yourselves fully to our new ruler. blood of a healer. No. I've spilled the blood of a tyrant. To command such power over the body between this world and the next. It seems I grew intoxicated. And now you grow still. La tua morte non sarà inutile. Requiescat in pace. You've done well, Alexa. What happens now? Watch. Silence! I demand silence! Why are you here? Why do you disturb me? You should be cleansing your home! Cleansing yourself! There are bonfires to see, prayers to be said, penance to be done! Do 
It's you. I knew this day would come. Please, show mercy. I have. Va ora. Che sia il tuo Dio a giudicarti. Requiescat in pace. My loved ones died, betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind, it would have consumed me, were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers. It taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Merici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! I see. If I just rearrange these letters... Here, it's done. Ezio! It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy, and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. 
The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. It's a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered. Or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The papal staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does... If he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. A Jew! There! There! Get him! Close the gates! Stop the intruder! I 
Credo in un Deum Patrem Omnipotentem, Factorem Celi et Terrae, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium. Et in unum Dominum Jesum Christum, Filium Dei Inugenitum, et ex Patre Natum ante Omnia Saecula, Deum de Deo, Lumen del... beyond this, but I'm not. 
I've waited too long. Lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. Father, well, rejoice, my child, for you will see him again soon. You will give it to me, as you wish. Fascinating. An impressive power, this. But if you think it's going to save you, another thing coming. Rodrigo, lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Ezio? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? Why don't we find out? this place. Open, damn you! Open! It's over, Rodrigo. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. All right, then. If that's how you want to play it. What do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what lies within? Or do you mean to tell me the great and powerful assassins didn't figure it out? Figure what out? God. It's God that dwells within. You expect me to believe that God lives beneath Il Vaticano? A more logical location than a kingdom in a cloud, don't you think? Surrounded by singing angels and cherubim makes for a lovely image. But the truth is far more interesting. Let's say I was to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. 
And you think you'll give it up? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist the staff and anvil. They were made for felling gods. God is meant to be all-knowing, all-powerful. If you think a couple of ancient relics can harm him... You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators from an ancient book. A book, mind you, written by men. You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. You think I believe a single goddamn word of that ridiculous book? It's all lies and superstition, just like every other religious tract written over the past 10,000 years. Greetings, Prophet. It is good you have come. Let us see it. To give thanks. We must speak. Who are you? Many names. When I died, it was Minerva. Before that, Mulva and Mera, and on and on. The others, too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Jupiter, who was before called Tinia. You are... gods. <laughs> no, not gods. We simply came before. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. Your minds were not yet ready. Still not. Maybe never. No matter. You may not comprehend us, but you will comprehend our warning. You must. None of what you are saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There is no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but through you. You are the prophet. You've played your part. You anger him, but please be silent that we may commune. Listen. When we were still flesh, and our home still whole, your kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. 
But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice, strength, compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now we are dying. And time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short. And guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. There's only about 10 minutes until I Need get... Need all of my equipment. Ready to go before they do. Desmond! Yeah, yeah. All right, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. You and I will deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go. So, what's the plan? We ditch this place, and then what? There's another safe house. We've got company. The truck's just up ahead. Mr. Miles, this is an unexpectedly pleasant turn of events. And here I thought I'd have to waste more men on. Kind of you to save me the truck. What do you want, Vidic? For you to come home. We miss you, Tempe. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I saved your life once. Do you remember? And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there, at my side, every step of the way. Their blood is on your hands just as much as mine. You need to stop him. I'm on it.
Uh-oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go! There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Hurry, Desmond. We need to go. You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. We should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's happening. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. Got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around with the Animus on the way. All right, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what, the sun is? What's it gonna do, cook the Earth? I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. And that woman, what was her name? Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes, and you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. Guess I better get started. vast web of connections and interconnections all ruled by chance or is it Power doesn't die. It's passed on. It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe. It's like I know what data I'm looking for. I've already lived it. What's going on? Oh, not yet. But... 
but you will. They were mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted? The web of history traps the good, and the evil take what is not theirs. Behold, the mark of Cain.
Without the staff, the Tsar was powerless. He could no longer control his subjects. Revolution! Revolution! Three thefts, hidden by the murders. People only see what they're trained to see. What the organization wants them to see. Something was up there. Something abandoned long ago. Jack deep underground, it was easy. He wanted to stop the cycle, to tell the secret. Oh, shit! I gotta keep thinking through the headaches. found it in Croatia. He found it in Croatia. They would find it in his lab. Thank you. 
He wanted everyone to know the secret, to set us all free. They used it to drive him insane. I don't know what's happening to me. I have been in the machine, you keep putting me back in, and I am losing control. It's all blurring together. I'm holding a rifle. Gettysburg is in the distance. I just stabbed a man, and there is blood on my waistcoat. I'm at the opera. Soprano is so beautiful. I'm in bed with her. She cries as I fuck her. I'm speaking at the forum. No one listens. I'm in the forest, hunting. Oh, the moon. I can see the moon. I'm here. I have to stay here. Until you understand. Listen, why do we have these gifts, these abilities? Because it's in our blood.
It happened in 1908. Uh, or was it 2008? 1708? I can't remember! They engineered the war, they engineered the peace, but they weren't going to get away with it. Find our mark. harder all the pain across time it hurts too much she sees me raise the knife only a little bit longer now Genesis. Genesis. The organization wanted the pieces. They tasted their power. But what were the pieces? Why did they work so well? It's as if our minds were made for them, manufactured to obey. Before. The pieces were once a part of a whole.
A few still know the truth. It is around us. Signs and paintings, faces, documents. But, but we don't see it. See, we are... We are blind to our own creation. set me free from this endless ring of time. I feel the guillotine cut my throat. The bullet hit my chest. The water fill my lungs. The blood spills out. Oh, the moon. I can see the stars. My mind is gone. Send the video out for analysis. As soon as Desmond's done in the machine. You okay? He'd be able to explain the whole thing to us. If only we could ask him. <laughs> 